We're live in Little Italy at Barbusa this morning, and as of yesterday, they got the green light to move their operations back inside. But if you come down here to Little Italy, you can see the restaurants still have everything set up for their outdoor dining. And I have PJ Buzalaki with us this morning to kind of tell us about how things have been going when you guys moved outdoors, and now you're able to move back inside. And what are your thoughts? I think that things have been growing uh, great outside. The customers love it. Um, everyone in Little Italy loves it. We love it. Um, and I think it's something that we want to stay for the long haul, obviously. Um, and then getting the new you know, rules to, to move inside was kind of disheartening to see because uh, there are a lot of things that we have to go through as a operators um, to figure out how we're going to track all these people that walk through our doors. And uh, at, at the moment, uh, to be honest, it just seems pretty unlikely that we will do so. And it's like, well, you might as well stay outside because we love it. People love it. Yeah. So as a restaurant owner, you're going to have to keep tabs on people coming in, writing down their names and their phone number. Does that all come back to you at the end of the day? Yeah, it's an, it's another thing on, on my plate who, uh, you know, I'm here all the time and, and it's another thing on my plate to have to reinforce to my employees and my employees reinforce to the guests. We're already having such a hard time enforcing the masks because, uh, as you know, a lot of people aren't really wanting to wear masks at, at all times. And so the um, they want us to write down names. They also want people to be in their seats even when they're eating in, inside wearing a mask. So. Uh, the difficulty about this whole thing is really how are we going to police this um, and if the outside is going great for us we might as well just keep sitting outside yeah and we asked on our social media on our KO side Twitter about what people think about the new regulations of having to sign your name are people going to be truthful <clears throat> what are your thoughts on that I know Joey was in here earlier he wasn't very happy either yeah I I, I can only imagine that people are going to be writing uh, whatever name down on a sheet and not being truthful and I don't think most of the majority of people want to know uh, Want anybody else to know where they are or if they're being tracked or anything of that sort I really just think that people are um, Going to continue wanting to sit outside like I said and and I'm gonna I'm gonna be okay with all that so. Yeah, you said you're probably just gonna stay outside until all this blows over Do you think the other restaurants in Little Italy are gonna do the same just because of those new guidelines of having people track their names and numbers down? I, I don't know what everyone's going to do, but Little Italy has done such a good job already in terms of uh, creating such a great space for all of us to, you know, kind of keep our nice out, out, outdoor patios. Um, so I would assume if this is working, why are we going to try and do something else until yeah. we can finally open up normally? Um, I think that's when everyone will rush. Uh, we are talking about potentially opening up our bar a little bit and just kind of making a little bit of a, a, of a smaller space in the inside and only having, let's say, 20 or 30 people. And that kind of um, lets us kind of control the amount of names on the, on the booklet or whatever it is um, easier. But we'll see. We're, we're all in a limbo uh, right now, and we're just trying to figure out how it's all going to work out. Trying to make it and trying, trying to, to adapt. Trying to make it work, yep. All right. Well, I also want to talk about just Barbusa, Barbusa itself. When you guys open and yeah. is the dining every single day? Yeah. So we're open um, Monday through Sunday for dinner, uh, but then we do Saturday, Sunday at lunch starting at 11. Um, dinner opens at 4 o'clock. Um, and we have another restaurant down the street, Nona. They're open for um, lunch and dinner as well, seven days a week, but they do a, a weekend brunch uh, starting at 8 o'clock. And your safety precautions are still all in yeah, place? Yeah, we're, we're still doing all the same things that we did before. And, and people are just really enjoying being outside and still enjoying it. And uh, there's no rush for us in, in the immediate time to rush to get inside. Yeah. Well, PJ, thank you for having us thank this you. morning and sharing your opinion. Thank you. Because I know you can speak for a lot of other restaurant owners who are going through the same thing. Paul and Lauren, I'm going to send things back to you. We're live in Little Italy.